better. Uh, Especially with the freshmen, they've made a lot of strides. Uh, their heads were spinning right. first day, but now Taz is doing really well. Martin's doing well. JP's making strides. I mean, they're all they're all doing good. Is there a sense when you get to this point, even though the season's not about to start, but mm -hmm. when you have all these practices against yourselves every day, you get, is there just that fire that you want to see a different face finally? Yeah, yeah, and that's what's so great about Italy. We're going to get to play against somebody else, you know. Uh, the best competition is in town is against ourselves, but now we get a chance to, you know, really show what we can do. I guess this year for you has been a little different. Take it back a year ago. Yeah. I guess what is that? What has that transition been like going from you know, not really sure where you're going to fit in role wise to now being dependent on to be a leader on the court, off the court, and this. Yeah, I mean it's a lot different. Uh, I had a decent end of the last season, or end of the season, uh, which has given me momentum into the off season. I think I've made a lot of strides uh, in the post, post defense, all that stuff. Uh, you know, I've been asked to step up and be a captain, and, you know, it's a much different role than what I've had in the past, but I'm ready to do it. It's, uh, it was a little strange at first, but I like it. I think we're going to have a great year, and uh, I'm just excited. I'm really excited for next year. Are you, are you sensing that guys are listening to you? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, all the guys are great on our team. You know, a lot of personality. Uh, they listen well. Uh, and I, I like to take feedback from them just as much as I, I give it to them because sometimes they see something that I don't. Right. Is your current health status as much of a factor in your confidence as the way you ended last season? Kind of being able to... Yeah, yeah. I'm a lot healthier. Every year since... Since the surgery, basically, has been better for me. Uh, hopefully, we'll keep that going. It's just growing into your body. Yeah. Your bone's not ready for being so tall right away. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and I guess, bottom line, when you look at it, what's going to make for a successful trip? Uh, a successful trip, in my mind, is just you know having fun. As long as we have fun, right? Uh, we're going to win games. We're going to play well. If we if we build that camaraderie on this trip, that'll be a success for us. It's Mac touched on this a little bit when we talked to him, but there's going to be a lot that falls on your shoulders and Mo's shoulders once mm -hmm. you get back from this trip to kind mm -hmm. of sustain the progress you guys made and that gap before you start practice. I guess what's yeah. going to be important in those in that time to... Well, yeah, well, they can't coach us, so, uh, you know, they're kind of putting it up upon ourselves to make sure that we're doing the right things. Uh, make sure we remember our press defense, remember our press offense, because that's something that we don't typically work on by ourselves. But we got to make sure that that's something that we do, and especially, uh, especially on the defensive end, a lot of guys can slip up when the coaches aren't around. Uh, but it's on Wap and I's shoulders to make sure guys are guys are in the right spot, guys are talking, doing the right thing. Kind of a new wrinkle that the guys added in these same practices is that little three-quarter press that you guys have been using. Do you like that? Yeah, I definitely like it. I mean, uh, with Taz and Martin and JP and all the guys with long arms, right. it's we've gotten a lot of stops in practice, and uh, we're going to put it to the test in Italy. Have you ever seen Mac almost break into last <laughs> when he's about to yell at a player like when Taz got him to, when Taz just told him the truth while yeah. he messed up? Yeah, uh, well, Taz is an honest guy. He told the truth, <laughs> and, and Mac, Mac, I guess, respected that. But uh, What do you see out of Kyrie that makes, I mean, not many guys like to even ask questions, especially when they know they're screwing up, I guess. What do you see out of Kyrie that makes him kind of just yeah. always wanting to learn? He takes criticism very well. I mean, he, he'll take it, and he'll improve from that. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a year off from high school, which helped him learn, I think. Uh, I mean, he's... Becoming a really good player. When you're trying to like.